Good morning, Justin Levine coming to you from Cressa. I am a senior advisor and broker uh, with Cressa. And on the line today, I have Maria, a colleague of mine out of Toronto. Um, Maria, first of all, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing fine. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So people know Cressa primarily as a real estate brokerage firm with a project management arm as well. Uh, but you, you're leading the charge in a service line um, and a lease audit service. Can you, can you please explain what lease audit is? Um, lease audit, also referred to as rent audit or lease compliance review or common area maintenance audit, is a detailed review and analysis of tenants' unique lease documents and the landlord's invoices and year-end reconciliations to ensure both parties are in compliance with the lease. In short, the year-end reconciliation the landlord prepares should reflect the ins and outs of the lease and should be backed up by supporting documents. So typically this is wrapped up uh, mostly, I would imagine, in operating expenses, realty tax, utilities, things of that nature, and less so in basement? That's correct. Great. And so why would it be relevant or super timely right now to, to conduct a lease audit? There are several reasons for that. At the end of each fiscal year, landlords provide their tenants with a good faith estimate of the operating expenses for the coming fiscal year and a statement of the actual operating expenses for the year that just ended. Most times, fiscal year coincides with the calendar year. Another reason, which ties to the one that I just said, is that most leases provide for the tenant's right to review the landlord operating expenses only for a limited time following receipt of the prior year statement. As an example, if the landlord's fiscal year ends December 31st and your lease provides 60 days to review the landlord's records, then time is ticking. Another very important reason is linked to the pandemic we're all in now. So in light of the global pandemic, the language in leases that deals with operating a cost is changing. Landlords are now seeking to pass on the cost of preparing a pandemic risk assessment and the health emergency plan, along with the actual cost of dealing with the health emergency to the tenant. Our belief is that tenants need to pay closer attention to what costs will be on their side of the ledger versus the landlord. And in your experience, um, where, where might be some of the bigger areas or most often seen areas where discrepancies or er uh, errors may occur? I came across errors in all areas um, over the past 10 years. Most often, I would say involuntary errors, mathematical errors, lease misinterpretations, they come back quite often. With any service, the question always comes up, even on the brokerage side, how much does this cost? How much is it would a lease service uh, cost a uh, client? Most of the time, though, lease auditors are paid based on percentage of fees recovered. So, again, going back to the timeline, a client has, you know, again, per the terms of the lease, 30, 60, or 90 days to launch an, an audit of those costs. So if, if we catch it on day one and a client gives you the green light to go ahead and, and audit their lease and their costs, how long will it take for, for an audit from start to completion? Um, it does not take a long time at our end. Uh, where it might take time is um, in receiving the landlord's response because uh, most of the time they are very busy. So it could take anywhere between, let's say, a couple of weeks to months and sometimes even years, depending on the issues that we come, we, we come across and we find. Are you able to provide just, you know, maybe one or two case studies, examples where you were engaged, went in, looked at the books and were able to find or create savings for a client? One of the examples uh, that I could give um, is uh, about one of our clients who occupies multiple locations has requested uh, us to review their leases and recoveries for um, a few years time. Um, during our review, we identified errors uh, ranging from expenses recovered on a higher area than agreed upon in the lease, to mathematical errors, um, recoveries and of excluded expenses, property tax credits as a result of successful tax appeal, not reimbursed to tenants, and on and on and on. Um, in a six months time window, we were able to recover 100% of the overcharges for this client, 
uh, totaling uh, over $128,000. This in addition to a lot more that our client will save over the remaining lease terms for those locations. So thank you for your time, Maria, explaining what a lease audit is and the overall service and what it entails. Uh, but most importantly of all, I'll leave you with one last question is, how can a tenant or client get in touch with you to, to engage in the service? Um, you may uh, book a meeting with myself directly or you can click on the link below. That's great, Maria. I really do appreciate your time uh, and uh, efforts today. We wish you well. Uh, have a great day. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you.